I guess it doesn't matter how rich, pretty, and famous you are when you still know jack shit about nutrition. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. It's 8 a.m., but I'm super excited because today we're gonna do a what I eat in a day at home. Because the last time we did it, it was pretty much at work and like on the go, so I didn't really show you guys what is the easy, simple recipe to make at home. So let's do it. So I always start my day with the hot water with lemon. It has a lot of uh, vitamin the detox C and water. it's just really refreshing in the morning. Whenever I eat this or drink this actually, it just gives me like a healthy feeling. So I kind of think it helps me with like the mindset for the rest of the day. And I just squeeze half a lemon in hot water. They all have such big really heads. for your digestion. So when you drink it on an empty stomach, it like kickstarts your digestion. Sometimes the pits fall in, but that's fine. And then I just sit on the couch for like 20 minutes and I just check my phone and I sip on this water because it's good to She's like big, man. She's bigger than like me. 15, 20 minutes before you have your breakfast. That bone structure. So now it's time for breakfast. And as you guys know, it's my favorite part of the day. Like when I lay in bed, I just look forward to my breakfast. So we're gonna make oatmeal and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So we're gonna start with measuring 40 grams of oats. Um, I'm not sure what it is in US, but it really depends on how hungry I am. Sometimes I do 40 grams, sometimes 50. 1.3 ounces, 60. young lady. It really depends. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here. Then the next step, I always put half a banana, but you can also put the whole one. It depends on how sweet you want it. I'm a whole banana kind of and guy, that's for sure. And I'm gonna mesh it in this little bowl. Okay, the next step is I'm gonna add some hot water in here. You can also put some almond milk or oat milk, whatever you like. I just like water and then I'll start to boil it. And I really think it's important to keep stirring. So you make it like really nice and creamy. That's how we like it. And then like after a minute or two, um, I'll add this banana and I cook it with the oats. I boil it for like six minutes, I think. Gotta boil out that <laughs> fluoride and chlorine boom. in that water then straight from the tap. Done. So I put the oatmeal in here and I just like oatmeal so much because it's really high in fiber and it has a lot of like good carbs. So it keeps me full so long, like until lunchtime. And it's just really tasteful. It's like a little pie. Um, I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. So now it's time for the toppings and it's my favorite part. Ooh, gotta play arts and crafts. Do everything different every day. Um, so I'm starting with a mix of like goji berries, uh, pumpkin seeds. I think there are mulberries in there, just a lot of like different, different kind of seeds. Then the next topping I picked today is chia seeds. And chia seeds are really high in like uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, so it keeps you full. Come on, we don't need the glass jars. We know it was in a plastic Whole Foods bag. I sprinkle some cinnamon because I heard cinnamon is helping to keep your bl blood sugar in control. So I feel like when you eat it no, with No, we definitely fruits, need that with really this helps. meal. And then last <laughs> but not least, my favorite peanut butter. This one is the one from Hawaii that I've showed you guys before. So it's really hard to get anywhere. Uh, but also normal peanut butter would work or almond butter, any butter, because I feel like it's a really nice source of protein and it just makes it so Super. It's all right, my boyfriend will pay for it. Okay, now it's time for to eat my breakfast. And I just think breakfast is really important for me because I feel like when I have a good breakfast, I just have fuel for the whole day. Well, not for the whole day, of course, but especially Til for lunch, the beginning as of you the said. day. And um, today's a day that we're just, it's weekend, we're hanging with the babies because we're in Holland right now. And then I think this afternoon, we're probably gonna do a quick workout. Seems like there's not too much going on up there. Very easy way to be happy. I am genuinely jealous. Uh, so let's take a look at that meal. Uh, she started with some oats. Oats are a grain high in anti-nutrients, inflammatory to the stomach. If you ferment oats properly, which takes about two weeks, 
they break down and they're much easier to digest. I've never seen a vegan do this. This was something that the traditional Scottish settlements did. Uh, chia seeds, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds. A lot of the time, vegans talk about seeds having omega-3 fatty acids, but the body cannot convert uh, the plant form of omega-3 into the animal form EPA and DHA. We have to obtain it directly from fish. These seeds are also very high in anti-nutrients. Out of all the foods there are, seeds are the highest in phytates and oxalates. They damage the gut lining. Goji berries, blueberries, maybe just some oxalates, but most importantly, you know, the meal is devoid of animal nutrition. You know, where are the vitamins? Where are the easily available minerals and elements not in the presence of anti-nutrients? Uh, cinnamon, not too big of a deal. Uh, peanut butter, very high in insects craving the bugs as most vegans do and then she had half a banana of course needs to make it somewhat sweet so she can choke it down okay it's snack time and i'm that kind of person that loves to eat five to six times a day because otherwise i just get hangry so it's 11 now and i felt like some fruit so i'm doing strawberries and I love to pair it with almonds. I love to combine it with almonds because when you eat your fruit with uh, something that has fat in there, it helps you to like balance out your blood sugar because sometimes when you just eat the fruit, it like spikes your blood sugar up and then when it goes down, you get really hungry again. Also a little side note, I'm not a nutritionist and this is just oh, how really? I eat and definitely not every day like everyone else. That's what they all say. Uh, but yeah, this is just the stuff that I like. So keep that in mind. I mean, we see this over and over again. You know, every single plant-based dieter that's lacking animal nutrition, that's not consuming fats, needs to consume sugar every hour or two to keep their blood sugar high, you know, up and down, up and down. She says that the almonds lower the glycemic index of the meal, but you have to think about digestive efficiency. You know, those strawberries, very high in water, digest very quickly. The almonds, nuts have a high anti-nutrient content. It's not going to digest efficiently. It's going to take a while. I don't think adding almonds or seeds or anything to a meal like this is going to change the glycemic index at all. If it was almond butter, nut butter in a larger amount, then maybe that's where we'll see a difference. So I just came back from a walk with the babies in the park and now it's lunchtime and guess what? It's avocado toast. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my avocado toast when I'm home. And I just love it so much because every time I eat avocado, it makes me feel super satisfied because it has a lot of fats in there. So it stays, I stay pretty much full until dinner. So it's always a little bit of a thing if I start with the toast or with the egg because I both like them to be warm. So I think I'm gonna ask Lawrence for help to make my egg. And meanwhile, I'll toast the toast. So welcome to Lawrence Cook Show. <laughs> He's gonna make me an egg, I think, right? Yes. And I prefer a sunny side of egg today. All right. Explain him about if it. If you hit the egg, you don't wanna hit it too hard because the egg yolk will go everywhere. But if you do it right in the middle, just a quick, a quick snap with the wrist, <laughs> and you do it in the pan, it becomes perfect like this. That's what you call sunny side of egg. Okay, I'm gonna toast the toast. And today I'm doing it in a toaster. But you can also do it um, with a little bit of olive oil in the grill. It's like her brain today is struggling making eggs and way. toast. Lack of so B vitamins. the toast is ready. <laughs> it's really toasted. I like my bread really toasted. <laughs> you Let can't make this up, Lightly toasted, middle toasted, or really toasted. So I'm cutting my avocado right now, my lovely friend. The next step. Yeah, who let her use a knife? I'm gonna slice the avocado, put it on the toast. I love a thick layer of avocado. Some people like, like to have it not too thick, but I'm like, the more avocado, the better. Then on the other half, I do a little bit of hummus. This one is already made, but I always try to find a really clean one that doesn't have too many ingredients. If you can read all the ingredients, then you're good. Avocados and there, hummus in Holland. Never heard of, don't take it. Then I put a little bit of the other half of the avocado over my hummus. It's a really nice combination because I try to eat not too much eggs and meats, but 
still it's one egg. I'm like not eating it at all. So I'm trying to find a medium. So then I'll add some pepper, some sea salt, and some chili flakes. You can also play around with your seasonings. You can do cumin, you can add um, garlic, whatever you feel like. And then it's time for the egg. And then last but not least, I love to add some seeds. So these are sprouted watermelon seeds. We can also do pumpkin seeds when you like. Don't you forget to plant them, them in your garden bit. this year? And I just put, put it over and then I'm ready. The egg is a little big, so you can't see the toast anymore, but it's really under there, right? For sure. <laughs> Definitely a lack of animal foods contributing to her brain fog. The fear mongering around eating one egg is completely ridiculous. Sourdough bread is okay if you make it yourself from heirloom grains. We all know a Victoria's Secret model is not fermenting her own sourdough bread. Avocado flown halfway across the world. As usual, one egg probably keeping her alive. Some hummus. It, just chickpeas. Chickpeas can be high in lectins, damage the gut lining, and sometimes they add omega-6 fatty acids, uh, which are inflammatory if they exceed a certain percentage of your diet. Uh, chili flakes, pepper, and salt need to make it taste good, and plant foods don't taste good without unrealistic amounts of seasoning. Sprouted watermelon seeds, of course, they have to sprinkle something on that makes them feel like they're being healthier, when in reality, they're just coming out the same way they came in as a whole seed. At least the birds will have something to eat at the dump yard. So it's snack time and I love for my snack to be less sugary. It's because it's starting to become the end of the day and it really helps to keep your blood sugars a little bit more down at the end of the day. Otherwise you get cravings later at night. So I'm gonna go for some carrots with cucumber and hummus. And I also make myself some tea and I'm just gonna enjoy my snack now. Bye. You know what's crazy? If you only ate cucumbers, carrots, and hummus, you would die. Doesn't matter how much you had, the amount of calories and the bulk of that food, she's just filling up her stomach. You know, no nutritional value, not really too damaging. You know, it's just hummus, cucumbers, carrots. Most people can tolerate that in their digestive system, but there's no point in eating something like that. It's not giving you micronutrient nutrition. It's not giving you caloric nutrition. It really says something about our state of diet and health. We're just eating out of boredom to entertain ourselves and to fix you know, the blood sugar fluctuations from these crazy diets. So I finally get to try HelloFresh. I've seen it so many times, but now we've been home for a little bit, we can finally try it out. And they have all these different recipes where you can pick from. I think they have family size, calorie smart, uh, Oh, she needs some help with that. <laughs> and they deliver it to your home whenever you want. So that's really nice because sometimes you're just at work, working all day, and you don't really have time to do groceries. So I don't know what's home, worse, her sales skills or her cooking ability. Your fridge. So for today, I picked this one. It's the eggplant from the oven with feta and pomegranate seeds. And it's something that I think I really like. It also has some rice on the side. Um, so I'm super excited. I hope Lawrence is gonna like it too. So everything is pre-measured, what is great, because sometimes I tend to cook way too much. I feel like I have a whole family, but it's just for me and Lawrence. So that's great. And also they have this little paper where they say step-by-step step how you have to make it. So that makes it much easier. So I can also make Lawrence do it, for example. So I'm making little cuts in the eggplant, uh, but I think it's because you put the oil on there and we're gonna mix the oil with the Ras Al Hanout and that makes the eggplant go really soft and nice. Otherwise it gets really dry in the oven. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in here and then mix it with the seasoning that we got, Ras Al Hanout. And that's what we're gonna put over the eggplant. I think first we're gonna put some aluminium under the eggplant. Doesn't know how toxic oil, aluminum oil is. Oil doesn't go everywhere. Aluminium. Now we're gonna add the oil. I mix the olive oil with the seasoning and we're gonna put it on the eggplant. That eggplant's probably really so good. So the next step is to put it A little in bit the of oven. salt on there and, and butter instead. Celsius, Ooh. of course. So you put it on 200. 
uh, for 35 to 40 minutes. So the next step is to cut the pomegranate because we need the seeds. I'm nervous. So I have to say it's a little bit of a work to get the seeds out. There must be an easier way to get this out. Yeah, you just ba you bang the hell out of it into a bowl. He's always a little bit more precise. I'm not really good in this kind of things. So I'm just gonna heat the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds for a little bit. And then you put them on the side. Uh, need more seeds. So the next step is to boil Might the well rice for 12 to 15 minutes. And then I think we're only gonna add the things that have to go on top. And I have to say this is pretty easy because it takes me all together because of the eggplant 40 minutes. So that's perfect. It's super simple. And then the price is $6.99 per serving. So that's not bad either. So yeah, I'm gonna let it cook now. Wait for the eggplant. And then we're gonna wrap it up. Okay, Lawrence, if you go get the eggplant from the oven. Yes. Pretty, huh? Mm -hmm. And now it's time for the toppings. I think we're gonna add first some tahini sauce, then the pomegranate seeds, and not to forget the feta on top of the eggplant. Then we're gonna put some of the rice on the plate. Add some of our pumpkin and sunflower seeds and then we garnish it with some mint. So I also wanted to share with you guys that I got a really nice promo code from the people from HelloFresh. We know. So you can get your first eight meals for free. So that's like $80 worth of your first month of HelloFresh. So you can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code ROMI80 if you want to try it out. And I think it's definitely worth a try. Bon appetit! Okay, this was what I eat in a day at home. I hope you guys liked it and let me know if you guys have tried something out and if you guys have any nice ideas for our new videos. Bye! I don't know man, I think that guy is the one wearing the uh, woman's underwear in this situation. Uh, so what was that meal? The eggplant, brown rice, feta cheese, yogurt tahini, pomegranate mint, raw style hanout, as well as more seeds. You know, so the overarching problem with these meals and this diet is the lack of animal foods, the lack of animal nutrition. I wouldn't say, you know, the foods she's eating are super inflammatory. Yeah, in that last meal, tahini uh, might be the worst thing throughout the whole day. You know, eggplant, nightshades can cause issues for some people. High amount of seeds means a high amount of phytates and oxalates. You know, but she's not consuming, you know, incredibly high amounts of seed oils, nut butters, omega-6 fatty acids. There's no high presence of like tofu or, or really poison vegan foods. It's just she needs to eat more meat, fish, eggs, and dairy if she wants to get the vitamins that her body actually needs. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meats. We have way better deals than HelloFresh, providing you with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me, guys. If you would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one health consultations, shoot me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com.